Hi there, welcome back to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can create a chart like this uh, which is kind of a calendar chart having uh, weekdays on top and uh, week numbers over here and this is basically indicating the heat map or a conditional coloring based on the profit and loss. So blue indicate that you are having a profit and negative indicate that you are having a loss. So this will help you uh, figure it out some sort of a trend or some sort of a next level of question about what's really going on on this particular day and it, you are incurring a loss or what are your most profitable days and most, uh, uh, you know, those days where you have made uh, maximum loss. All right. So, so to do that, um, let me come back here. Um, and first of all, it will be on the order date. So order date here and order it here um, it will be a week uh, day yeah and it will be a week number all right so week day week number pretty good uh, we need filter so for filter we need order date and we will select month year next and I'll select just any random like 2000 June 2014 so here I have the June 2014 information um, once I have this information, um, I can do is take profit ratio and put it on color. Now this is a bit small as uh, compared to this one. So pretty easy. Just change it to entire view. All right. So now we have this entire view. Um, next thing is uh, putting the information about which day it is like I have put it over here. So it should be easy. Um, what you need to do again, order date over here from year um, change it to day and from automatic change it to square if it has happened with you and you are back uh, with your information so this way you can get the information about a particular month and uh, uh, like this we can have this dynamic by putting the filter over here show the filter now I don't want to see June but I want to see July and uh, august or september like this if this is making you a little bit problematic uh, what you can do is you can uh, 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 you can basically uh, put it as a single value as a list or a drop down like this so drop down i think it makes more sense so now i see that uh, july 2016 or uh, June 2017 you can go back and forth in time and uh, have the calendar kind of a you know report or dashboard for you so that's that's a quick tip or trick or maybe you can say a calendar chart probably that that you can create within a tab view so that's pretty much it and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic